Hey there, Tad Argrave from Marketing for Hippies, and today's video is about naming the issue that you help people with. Uh, one of the metaphors I use a lot is that it's like your ideal clients on Island A, where they're struggling with some issue, you know, some symptom that they don't like and they want to be on Island B, where there's some result that they're craving in your business. is like a boat that can take them from one island to the other. So the big piece in marketing initially becomes about naming this Island A the relevance piece so that when this is the first filter this is the first thing that people need to hear is is what you're offering relevant to me or people like me so uh, I was chatting with somebody who's in my mentorship program who does uh, a lot of holistic care and one of her the niches that she wants to focus on is uh, caregivers and as she was talking there was a dynamic that came up that I, I wanted to speak to because uh, this can be very helpful in defining the island a for a lot of people to get stuck with island a because it's well it's not so simple it's not just one thing and one of the patterns i've seen a lot of is that sometimes island a is about a conflict a conflict between two things that people feel uh, attention kind of torn inside and they don't know how to resolve it and it's not one of the others that the, the that conflict itself is a problem so for example with her um, people who are caregivers, you know, for example, caring for their parents or caring for a spouse or a child that's sick or a friend, you know, they often feel trapped because it's, it's just so much work. It's so exhausting. And yet you love the person and you want to take care of them. So you're kind of wanting f freedom from it, but you also want to make sure they're cared for. And the tension between those two things, the inability to resolve that, is Island A. And those two being resolved, finding a way to meet both those needs, to have both those things happen, that's Island B. You know, I remember driving with a, a, a woman in Santa Cruz. Uh, we're driving to a music festival together, and she was venting. And for two hours, I just really kind of listened. I didn't say much. And finally, at the end, I said, it sounds like you're really struggling to balance your needs for a sexual expression with your needs for self-respect. And she was driving and she looked at me like, yes, <laughs> like that was it. So that was Island A for her, was trying to balance those two things. You know, Tony Robbins talks about it when he talks about the six human needs and that there are these six needs and four of them seem to be in conflict with each other. So the need for conflict or a certainty and the need for uncertainty, you know, the need for kind of comfort, but also excitement. You know, it's often those two feel in conflict or the need for connection, the need for independence. You need to be a part of something, but the need to be your own person. And again, those can feel like they're in conflict. So, uh, you know, a, a parenting coach I know said, I work with parents who are struggling with either being too authoritarian or too permissive. So again, they feel torn of, they can see that both are important. Yeah, well, sexual expression is important, but so is self-respect. Uh, being a little permissive is important, but having some authority as a parent matters too. Well, having some freedom for myself and space is important, but my loved one's really sick, and that's important too. So sometimes that's what Island A is. It's that kind of a conflict. And then Island B is the resolution of that conflict. Finding a way to move forward that honors both the pieces and maybe you know sometimes three or four pieces so that's just a thought um some examples on what uh, sometimes island a can be and something to think about in your own work and by the way if you have examples i'd love to hear them and collect them so if you can think of any more uh, in your business please write them below because i may put those into a future version of the art of relevance ebook which if you're struggling with this that's the ebook that i have uh, that most speaks to this whole island a island b articulation so yeah, if you got a lot of blank stares and people are like, what do you do? I don't understand what you do. There's a really good chance that that's the problem is that Island A and Island B haven't been articulated. So I'll put the link for that. Um, and again, if you've got any examples or any questions about this, please put it below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.